Peace. Did you know you're not meant to pray for everyone? Hi, I'm Ayana Fashandra Sharice. I practice the Yoruba Isheshe tradition, commonly known as Ifa, and it's my hope through education I combat a lot of ignorance that goes on about this tradition online, in general, in life. All right, yeah, story time. So, I was having an Ebba done, which is like the prescription for a divination. In this case, we were on day three, and I just decided that I needed to add someone to my prayers. They had been going through a lot, and I was like, you know what? Let me add them. So we're at the end, right? We're about to round out this thing. We're about to have all ceremonies locked and done. But no, Alu stops, and he says, Ifa said you changed something. He waited for me to say what that change was. So I said I added someone to my prayers. He paused and he said, if I says this person doesn't deserve your prayers. Like he already knew the answer, but he just wanted to see what I was going to say. It was at that moment that I clutched my invisible pearls. What do you mean? He repeated himself again. If I says that this person doesn't deserve your prayers. So I paused for a minute and thought about it. And I always talk about on here how this is an individual practice that becomes communal. So he followed back up with more. This person has things that they agreed to before they came to this earth that they need to work through on their own. And they're not praying and taking care of themselves, basically was the summation of what he said. So if they're not doing the work themselves and they're not praying for this thing for themselves, why am I? So I know you hear people say, you can't have everybody pray for you. Well, you can't pray for everybody. And simple reason, not everybody's ready to do the work and they're not praying and working through the stuff themselves. Well, hope you got a lesson there. Hope this relates to you. No hashtags because we're just going to see what happens. Have a divine day.